Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about the Pythagorean Theorem. So, the Pythagorean Theorem states that if we have a right triangle, then A squared plus B squared will always equal C squared. So the most important thing to know about this is that C must be the hypotenuse. For A and B, it doesn't matter which leg you use, but C must be the hypotenuse. And remember, you can always find the hypotenuse by looking across from your 90 degree angle. So one thing we can use the Pythagorean theorem for is finding missing sides of a right triangle. Now it does have to be a right triangle, so please don't forget that. So I look at this problem and I say, okay, I see that my hypotenuse is 10, so C must be 10. But for A and B, it doesn't matter which one is which. So let's say A is 6 and B is X. Now we're just going to substitute those values into the Pythagorean theorem. So we'll say 6 squared plus x squared equals 10 squared. Now all we have to do is solve for x. So I'm going to simplify, then subtract 36 from both sides, and then I'm going to take the square root of both sides. Now the square root of 64 is 8. 64 is the perfect square, so a very nice number. I do want to point out that usually when we take the square root of both sides, we usually put a plus or minus sign in front, but since we're working with a triangle, it wouldn't make sense to have a negative length of a side of a triangle, so we only use the positive square root. All right, so go ahead and pause the video and give this problem a try. All right, so go ahead and check your work. You could say x squared plus 4 squared equals 8 squared, or 4 squared plus x squared equals 8 squared. Uh, what's important is that 8 is your c value. When you simplify, we end up with the square root of 48, which can be simplified. So I found the prime factors, I circled the pairs, and then I simplified from there. So we should end up with 4 times the square root of 3. All right, so we're going to try one more together. So in this case, I can see that x is my c value. So we're actually finding the hypotenuse. But it's the same setup. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And then we just simplify. So 4 plus 9 equals x squared. And 13 equals x squared. So x equals the square root of 13, which cannot be simplified. So we're done. Okay, go ahead and pause the video and give this problem a try. Okay, go ahead and check your work here. Uh, 5 squared plus 4 squared is, equals x squared. Simplify, and you should end up with the square root of 41, which cannot be simplified. All right, now we're going to talk about a different use of the Pythagorean theorem, um, which is actually checking to see if a triangle is a right triangle. So if we do a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and we get a true statement, then we know that the triangle is a right triangle. If we do the Pythagorean theorem and we get a statement that is not true, then we know that the triangle is not a right triangle. So essentially, the Pythagorean theorem must work for a triangle to be a right triangle. Um, the important thing to look for here is once again your C value. So your C value is always, always, always going to be the largest number. So find the largest side and that's going to be your C value. Okay, so here they're asking can this set of numbers be the sides of a right triangle? So I look at the three numbers, and I'm going to test them using the Pythagorean theorem. And I know that 17 is the C value because it's the largest number. So let's plug it in. 8 squared plus 15 squared equals 17 squared. So I'm going to simplify and see if we have a true statement. Uh, let's see. 17 
times 17, so you might need to multiply that out. So we have 289. And then let's keep simplifying on the left. Let's do a little bit of addition. And what you'll see is that we get a statement that is true. 289 is equal to 289. Since the Pythagorean theorem works, we would say, yes, these numbers can be the sides of a right triangle. Let's try another example together. So here I look at the three sides, and I know that this must be the C value because it's the largest. The other two are A and B. It doesn't matter which one. So 5 squared plus 7 squared equals 9 squared. 25 plus 49 equals 81. So we end up with 74 equals 81. So this is just not a true statement. We know that 74 does not equal 81. So that means that this triangle is not a right triangle. No, they cannot be the sides of a right triangle because the Pythagorean theorem did not work. Okay, last two, I'd like you to pause the video and give this problem a try. All right, so for the first one, make sure you used 10 as your C value. So when you uh, substitute into the Pythagorean theorem and simplify, you get 85 equals 100, which is not true. So no, these are not the sides of a right triangle. For, the, for part B, we see that C is our, or 13 is our C value because it's the largest number. So when you simplify, you get 169 equals 169, which is, of course, a true statement. So yes, these are the sides of a right triangle. All right, that's all for today. Thank you for watching.